Hey everyone, Sensor here, and welcome back to another Xenoblade Chronicles 3 video. Now in this video, I'm going to be going over how to complete the Uniting the Seven Nopon quest. Now this quest you get pretty late in the game from Samon, and it basically is a quest that lets you upgrade your blades, is, is what it says. Now, the actual benefit from this is only cosmetic. You, you won't actually make your weapon stronger, but it will make the original parties you know class weapons look different so I am actually using that right now with with Mio and her uh, she's using the heavy guard Lance's weapon um, but yeah some of them are you know look pretty cool but the hard part is actually finding the Napon now it's there's seven Napon but Samon's one of them Riku will be the other one so there's only five of them that you have to actually find and I'm going to go ahead and show you the locations and how to get each one of those in order to complete the quest. So first off is Pain Pain and he will be near the hillside Feronis Hulk. Um, in order for him to actually be there you have to have first completed the Collapsed Trader Pond quest which you kind of come across him in the Fornis region and he just wants thirsty so you just get some you just complete that quest that gives items to rehydrate him and then after completing that then Pain Pain will move back to the hillside for Ronis Hulk near Shil Shil, right around this area. So that's how you find Pain Pain. So for Berber, you can actually find him next to Seek Seek, the Napan coin exchange merchant in the Sage's Domicile. If you haven't done that quest or have gone here yet, you have to go through the uh, Milio Trick Caverns. So I'll just show you real quick on the map where that's at. It's in the Fornis region kind of like southeast of Colony 4. You'll have to go around, somewhere around here, there'll be uh, like Trick Caverns. So you can see that I have the Melio Trick Caverns here. You just go through the Trick Caverns and then it'll lead you up to the Sage's Domicile. So once you've been there once, you'll get the travel place. So if you've already been there, then you just simply skip travel to the Domicile, talk to Berber right next to Seek Seek and then they'll join. Now Jin Jin will be at Jin Jin's treehouse. This one's a little annoying and not obvious to get to. So to actually get to the treehouse you first have to go to the Mac of the Wildwood. And if you haven't been there yet you go to the Pentalus region, go to the Sparkling Pool rest spot and then you just go like around here and just follow the path until you see like this like climbing wall and then you'll go left and you'll have to just keep going down and it'll lead into the path that's down into the wildwood which will take you to about here and if you've been to wildwood then you just fast travel to the warning tree but you'll have to come all the way down south through all this poison until you get down here to the Jin Jin's treehouse and you just climb up the ladders until you get to Jin Jin and then you uh, talk to them and then they'll join. Okay, so for Timpapa, you can find him north of the Dado Sea, or Dado Isle, however you pronounce that. Um, it's, you, you can't get it until after you've completed the Yum Smith quest with Manana and Riku. And just show you on the map, in order to get there, if you haven't gone there yet, um, you automatically get there from the quest, but in case you've done it a while or whatever, you get there from First Pillar Remnant, then if you haven't already, go over to Eternal Canopy. You have to actually go all the way up. Once you get to this area, you have to go up the building until you get to the top, and then that's where it takes you to the zip line. Zip line all the way over to there. There are level 70 plus enemies in here, so if you're not around that level yet, then just be careful and then just kind of follow a path that doesn't the fighting enemies until you get to around here and that's where he'll be at so to get the final one fixy fixy and you can do these in any order but to get to fixy fixy you need to go to the cell number one rest spot in the Lagarde prison camp and it's gonna be in one of these I can't remember exactly which one but you'll you'll be able to find them pretty easily just go to one of these cells and you have to actually have Valdi with you when you talk to him. Now, before all of that, if you haven't done the quest for 
in search of a home. It's Sagiri's quest to actually move in Colony Zero into the prison block. And then you have to talk to the uh, trader pawn and like upgrade basically the camp to like refurbish the camp. Like once you've done all that, then you'll be able to actually come back here and then talk to Fixie Fixie. But if you talk to him without Valdi in your party, he won't do anything. So once you have Valdi in your party, you talk to him and then he will finally join. Now, once you finally finish the quest, then you can come back to Semon in the city. And I'll just go ahead and show you that real quick. It's right in the in the middle, sort of near the Serene Square in Canteen. And you'll always see that quest related marker there. You just go and talk to Semon and then, you know, you choose the weapon. I've already done uh, Noah's, but because it's only cosmetic, so it's only you only upgrade it one time. So I'm going to go ahead and do Senna's for this one. I've done Noah's and Lanza's. And then it'll show you like all the different origin shards that you need. And you can get them from just like you'll see the little blue like light coming from them, on the maps. And also you can get them from killing unique enemies. But you basically just give him the materials, pick the weapon. You see this little cutscene. That's kind of cool because it shows like all of the Napan doing that. You'll see the weapon and how it looks now. And then once they finish, you'll see how it looks afterwards. So, you know, that's a pretty cool upgrade. And again, all of them have different weapons. Not the extra classes, just the original classes. But that's all I wanted to do about this video. If you liked it, please give a like and subscribe for future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.